um, <clears throat> I'm going to solve a sample problem about statically indeterminate beam. Here's the problem. Determine the reactions at the supports, then draw the shear and moment diagrams using double integration method, moment area method, and superposition method with RB and RC as redundant. Assume the support at A is fixed and B and C are rollers. EI is constant. Now, I have already made a video about the first method, double integration method, and the moment area method. And for the shear and moment diagrams, I was already included the double integration method na video. So for this video, I'm going to I'm going to use superposition method with RB and RC as redundant. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, similar with the the other two methods, same lang ang what you start with. Same lang ang procedure. You start with the equilibrium equations. So identify the reactions. R A uh, for the horizontal, it's assumed to be zero or considered zero since vertical lang ang external loads. M A. Uh, RB and RC. So the first condition is summation of force vertical. And for this uniform load, first you get the resultant. And the resultant load is area sa load. That's 3 times 25, so 75. And then identify vertical forces RA plus RB plus RC minus 10 minus 75. And after you simplify, the result is this. This is our equation number one. Okay. The next equation is summation of moment about A, B, or C. So let's sum up moment about C. And side convention counterclockwise positive. So R is clockwise, so that's negative. R B clockwise, negative also. MA is positive counterclockwise as well as 10 and 75. So we have this equation. Negative RA times distance 45. RB times distance 25. MA moment na. So no distance. 10 distance 35. 75 the distance is 12.5. One half of 25. So simplify, rearrange, and the result is this. This is our equation number two. Okay. Now, we have four reactions, and we only have two equations, uh, equilibrium. So we need additional, we need additional two equations. That will be at, um, that will be taken sa, Superposition uh, method. <clears throat> uh, here's our beam, and we choose RB and RC as redundant. So, our primary structure is we remove the support at B and C. So, we have this one, cantilever. And since wala na ang support sa B and C, okay, this, this is free to be displaced or free to deflate. So, pag axial load, this is the elastic curve. <clears throat> and, ang B mo deflect na, ma displace na by this distance. Uh, we call this one delta, delta B, and then this one, delta C. Okay. So, how do we solve for delta B? So, okay. <clears throat> So let's recall the different formula sa superposition method. This is for concentrated load. Okay. Cantilever beam na concentrated load acting at distance A from the fixed support then from the load to the free end B. 
And this is the formula. When you want to get the deflection uh, for a point which is less than or equal to A from here no? oh, uh, at this portion and for this formula, a uh, deflection of a point which is greater or equal to A but less than or equal to L. So from this part, no? from P to B. Now, this is for the concentrated load. Now for this one, we don't have a specific diagram for this, no? Okay. But actually, this is a combination of this one. Uniformly distributed acting throughout the beam and this one, portion lang. So if we reverse this one, so that this will be acting upward, then the difference of this one and this is equal to this one. This one minus this is equal to this. So, <clears throat> therefore, cleaning a beam is equal to. Okay, let's start with the uniform load. So, again, cleaning a uniform load is actually a combination of this one minus the other one. Okay, minus this load acting upward. And then this is for the uniformly distributed plus concentrated load plus the end gap. Okay. So therefore, a function of delta B is this one. We start with this. Deflections of point which is 20, 10, 10, and 25 money. So, so it means na, God, uh, Using this formula, then ang x na to is 20. Okay, delta B man, so. Use this formula na ang x na is 20. Okay. Kani, no? 3 omega times x 20 squared over 24 EI and so on. 6 times L squared minus 4 L times x plus x squared. <clears throat> minus... This one. Now, you will notice na for this one, for this load, ang A na to is from A to B, which is 20. And then we want to get the deflection of point B, which is 20 also. So, ang A na to is 20, and then delta magpuha o deflection 20. So, duha ka formula. Pwede rin na bisa na asa since, since x is equal to a man. So you can use this formula or this pareho lang. Since a is equal to x. So let us use this one, the shorter formula. So minus, so omega a cube over 24 ei, 4 times x minus a. Plus this one. Uh, again, for this concentrated load, ang A na to is 10. Uh, ang A na to is 10. The distance from the load to the fixed support. But our X is 20. So it means na X is greater than A. So we use this formula. X greater than A. Uh, so... Plus, okay, 10 oh, P times A square A is 10 over 6 EI 3 times X, 3 times 20 minus A. Okay, so this is our delta B. Okay. Next, for delta C, we start with this delta A. Eh? So, so drawing its point B, pero sa... So problem is point C. And for delta B sa, sa table or sa formula, given a value delta B, omega L raised to 4 over 8 EI. Ganyan. Omega L raised to 4 over 8 EI. Minus deflection sa B sa, B sa um, guide, pero sa actual, it's C. Yeah. 
So this one, deflection sa point B. Man. So we use this formula. So minus, yan eh. Omega A cube over 24EI, 4L minus A. Plus this one. Pero, C man sa to this one. Which is equal lang eh. Okay, it's plus um, P A square over 6 E I 3 L minus A. <clears throat> okay, so this is delta C. So, na solve na delta B and delta C. So, this is delta B and then this is delta C. Okay, next is we apply the first redundant. And our first redundant is rb so we will apply unit load at b remove the real loads and then you apply the unit load this one <coughs> and okay we denote this one as delta bb sa superposition method Del the double subscript bb means that this is deflection of b due to a load acting at B. Uh, it's 1.0 also. Deflection at B due to a load acting at B. Delta BB. Well, this one, deflection of point C due to a load acting at B. So, this, this is Delta CB. <coughs> okay, so let's go back to our guide. So, kinin na load, nakapatar na ni. And so, we'll be using this formula. For delta BB, it means na ang A na to is 20. Ang X na to, 20. Cent. Okay, again, ang A is distance sa load from the fixed support. 20 man eh. Okay, B man eh. So, 20. 10 ng 10. And then, ang X is 20. So, x is equal to a, you can use either formula. Since equal rama, no? Ang x and a equal. So, same lang. And so, we have this one. Delta BB is P x cubed over 6EI 3A minus x. Okay, it's 8,000 over 3EI. <coughs> Next, delta CB. Ang delta CB is this one. Free N. Yan eh. So, ano na yung formula daan? That's PA square over CTI 3L minus A. And the answer is... Uh, okay. So, this is for the first redundant. Okay. And next is second redundant. RC. Okay. So, one yung elastic curve. Dere. It's delta BC, deflection of point B due to a load acting at C. Delta BC. And then this one, deflection of C due to a load acting at C. So this is delta CC. And again, going back to guide, concentrated load at the free end. Okay, deflection any where X is equal to 20, so... You only have one formula. X equal to 20. L 45. Okay, so this, this is delta BC. 23,000 over 3i. And then delta CC. Deflections are free end. So for this one. is deflection at B. So that's PL cube over 3i. Okay. So after this, uh, let's go to the compatibility equation. So this is the compatibility equation. Delta B plus delta BB times first redundant plus delta BC times second redundant. And then the second equation, delta C plus delta CB times first redundant plus delta CC times second redundant. Now we substitute values. Okay. This one. 
delta b delta c delta b b delta c b kene so we have delta b delta c b b c c b c c b and na cancel lang iya yan ha and then you can use your calculator to equations with two unknowns and ang ano na ni rb and rc so the result after using your calculator is this one rb and then rc okay. so it means na rb is upward big assuming siya downward so it's upward and then rc is upward also so after this uh, let's go back to equation one so say equation one is R A R B R C equals eighty five. So na natay R B and R C we can solve for R A. So R A plus R B plus R C equals eighty five. And R A is negative, so it means na downward, downward. And from equation two, yun eh, equation two. Okay. We can solve for MA. Okay. 45 RA plus 25 RB. 45 RA plus 25 RB minus MA equals 1287.5. And our MA is negative. So, uh, uh, so double integration method. Now, proves yung uh, what? Uh, RA is downward. Okay, negative man. RB is upward. Ang MA is originally counterclockwise, pero nag negative man. So, clockwise. And then RB is upward, RC upward. So, money yung, this is the final direction sa. Final direction sa uh, um, reactions using the double integration method. So, same lang dere. Using superposition method, R A is downward since you assume siya na one. Okay. You assume siya na upward. Yan nag negative so downward. M A assume na counter so clockwise rb upward and rc upward so the results of superposition method is inconsistent with double integration method so i hope that you have learned something from this video thank you for watching